So here's a very bizarre and sad story. Prominent LGBTQ lawyer sets self on fire in protest suicide of climate change. So David Buckle is the guy's name, and he killed himself with fossil fuel to, quote, show what we are doing to ourselves. So he left a note, he sent the note to a bunch of different uh, media outlets, and, um, you know, it was basically a diatribe against pollution, against climate change. He said, what I'm doing here is symbolically what we're doing to ourselves, and we're just doing it to ourselves over an extended period of time. So he walked into Prospect Park in Brooklyn and set himself on fire. That's what he did. And this is the guy who, he's done uh, many prominent LGBTQ rights cases, one of the most prominent ones is he helped strike down the ban on gay Boy Scouts. There was a ban on gay Boy Scouts for a long time. He came in and fought that back, and he won. So this is a very sad story, and I feel uh, terrible for the guy. And, you know, it goes without saying, on the issue of climate change, he's right in that we need to do something to address it. We need to do it now. We need a new New Deal. We need a green technology revolution, renewable energy revolution. Um, and by the way, there's actually a lot of money to be made when you go down that path. There's a lot of patents that are just waiting to be had. You know, you could do a, a new New Deal would do tremendous job creation all across the country. Um, so he's right on the substance of it. But my takeaway from the story is a little strange. Well, it's a little bit of a almost a side point, but it's the thing that's dominating my mind when I read about the story, which is um, it proves that suicides or terrorism, like imagine if he went into a cafe and blew up the cafe and said, I'm doing this because of climate change. You know, uh, he, he pours gasoline all over the cafe and lights a match and throws it on there and goes, see, this is what I'm doing. This is what we're doing to ourselves. Humanity's doing this to ourselves with climate change and all that stuff. Now, he didn't do that. So nobody should get it twisted and think like he wanted to hurt other people. He only did it to himself, Okay. But point is, the tactic is so massively ineffectual, you know? And I think the bigger point is, even though he says these are his prime motivations, it's also the case that nobody who's mentally healthy does this. You know what I mean? So there's definitely a healthy dose of deep psychological issues that he was dealing with. Um... And I don't think that should be overlooked for the political message. Yes, the political message is true, but it stands on its own. In other words, the fact that he killed himself over it doesn't make it any more or less true. The political issue, we could talk about on its own merits. But that's the point, is that any kind of suicide, any kind of terrorist action, it never has the effect that the person doing it wants it to have. There's not a single person in the country who was on the fence and then they saw what this guy did and they go, oh, well, now I'm on the side of doing something to fix climate change. That didn't happen to anybody in the country. Nobody looked at this and said, and in fact, in some instances, probably the opposite happened, where people looked at it and said, oh, well, this guy's obviously unstable. Therefore, whatever issue he was focusing on is by definition also part of him being unstable. So he's wrong about that, too. Now, that's a fallacy, of course, but you can't deny the optics of that situation. And this is what we say across the board, whether somebody's doing, uh, you know, suicide for a political issue or somebody's doing terrorism. Don't do it because it doesn't like the idea that, you know, for example, if you massacre civilians and then you turn around and say, well, now you have to pay attention to the issues I want you to pay attention to. It's like, well, no, everybody's going to look at you and go, hey, fuck you for what you did, man. Nobody should listen to you. You're wrong on whatever issue you care about. And that's the point. And so, bottom line is, don't, if you care about an issue, the last thing you should do is kill yourself for that issue or kill other people for that issue because that's not going to have the effect you want it to have. And also, just don't kill yourself and don't kill other people. Those are also just bad things on their own. Never mind if you fucking couple it to a political issue, which is when you hurt other people and you couple it to a political issue, that's terrorism. When you hurt yourself, it's just, you know, suicide by ideology, I guess. But again, I don't think, I don't think it's only that. Um, so it's just, it's a sad story. And, uh, I, anybody who's going through something where they're considering thoughts like this, get help, get help. There's no, there's no shame in that. You know, I actually just watched a, this is a 
pivot here, but I'll make it nonetheless. I just watched an interesting documentary on um, Razor Ramon. Scott Hall. His wrestling character was Razor Ramon. And he... Um, he was found not guilty of killing somebody. There was a fight, and the guy pulled a gun on him, and he ended up killing that guy. And he had this psychological trauma as a result of that, and he become came very hard on himself, and he even realized that it was all tied back to that incident, and he was a wrestler, but then he got in too deep, and he was addicted to all these substances and all this stuff. And um, he says that at the end of the... Now he's good, and he went to rehab, and he changed his life, and he does yoga and all this stuff. But he talks about how, I wish I... Like, I it buried it deep down inside, 20 to 30 years, what I was dealing with. I should have just went and spoke to somebody and got the treatment I needed because it would have worked. And I took so long to do it, and I tortured myself half my life. And it's the same thing. If you care about any issue, go care and care about that issue and fight for that issue in every moral way imaginable, but also get help if you're dealing with other, you know, issues that are akin to this. So, sad story, and um, we should do something to fix climate change. But we should also do something to prevent suicides and prevent any acts of violence because it's unnecessary. And um, it's just sad.